Hi. In this video, we'll be learning about selecting by tag with CSS selectors. So to recap, this is the general format for a CSS rule. We have our selector, followed by curly braces, and then a series of declarations that define the style for that selector. Now the selector defines which HTML elements on the page this CSS rule applies to. And there's many ways to select with CSS. The example we've seen so far is using h1. So when we use h1 as the selector, this rule will apply to all h1 tags on the page. Now this is an example of selecting by tag. So we can select HTML elements to style by their tag. When we use a tag as a selector, it selects all elements with that tag. So for example, having h1 as the selector will have the CSS rule apply to all h1 tags. So this rule says that all h1 tags will have a font size of 60 pixels and a color of red. But we can select any tag this way. For example, let's say we had three images on our web pages and each of them had different heights. We could define a CSS rule that selects all image tags by their tag name, IMG, and gives them a height of 200 pixels. If we have this CSS rule on our page, then every single image will be selected and their height will be set to 200. Let's see this in the editor. So here we have a web page with several headers that go from large to small and then back to large again. And we can see the result here. So our goal here is to actually have these headers paint a rainbow up and down the page by setting the color of each tag. And to do this, we'll use CSS selecting by tag. So for example, let's say I wanted to make all H1 tags red. My selector is going to be H1. I'm selecting all H1 tags, and I'm giving them the color of red. So if I do this, we see that it applied to both H1 tags on the page. We can do the same thing with H2. We will select all H2 tags on the page and give them a color of orange. We can see that that updated both H2 tags. Do the same thing with H3, give it a color of yellow. Awesome. And to finish out the rainbow, we'll do H4 with a color of green. H5 gets a color of blue. And H6 gets a color of purple. So now every tag on the page has a CSS selector that defines the color for that tag. And the result is we see a rainbow painted up and down the page. So that is how we can select by tag using CSS. Now it's your turn.